Hi folks, welcome to this gentle somatic yoga practice for cultivating inner peace. Yoga, somatic practices and other similar modalities are all tools for helping us to experience, explore, uh, reach maybe this sense of inner peace. And it's gonna feel different for everyone and different things at different times will work for different people. And quite often we have to wade through a lot of challenges, negative self-talk, unsettling emotions, and general day-to-day -day stuff that crops up and might kind of throw us off balance and just flip that switch from feeling quite content to maybe feeling angry or um, uncertain, upset, you know, whatever is going on there and whatever emotions are coming up. And it's not about being calm all the time or about being in that state of inner peace all the time because that isn't reality that isn't the human experience we have this wide range of uh, of feelings and sensations that we should be able to flow through quite often we get stuck in one place and then and that's really difficult so it's learning to be able to flow through those states and know what that sense of inner peace feels like for you as an individual so that when you get kind of knocked off track when things come up those very important messages and signals that we get in our body we have a base to come back to and we learn i'm here what is gonna help me to get to here? So I'm feeling really angry, I'm really upset, and that's absolutely fine. Let's acknowledge these emotions. We don't wanna stay here, so what can I do in my life to get me back to here, back to base? And to do that in a healthy, and sustainable way. And this inner peace isn't just about us, it's about the collective, it's about our community, it's about our family, our friends. And if we are here, we might be pushing people away, we might be treating people badly, we might be violent, we might. Um, not show up in the way that we know that we can or that we really want to. So it's putting other people, not first, but having them in mind. We take care of our needs so that we can take care of other people that really need it as well. So it's just something to consider for this practice today and acknowledging when negative self-talk might come up for you, especially when we are doing something physical, we might not be used to it, there might be challenges that come up on the mat. What we learn, or on the chair today, what we learn through the yoga asana and through this physical practice and the time that we spend on our mat, how we cope with those challenges and how we acknowledge them and give ourselves some space to and be to be compassionate with ourselves we can take that off the mat today i invite you to consider what inner peace might mean to you and how you might be able to invite that into your practice. Maybe you set an intention to do with peace. Maybe you dedicate your practice to somebody else that really, really could do with that peace, that, that feeling of peace right now. Maybe there's something that you do, you take action on to help 
an individual or a group of people. So, we are going to be practicing on a chair today. There are going to be some seated postures and movement and there is going to be standing. And I'm going to give some options for both seated and standing and you can see where you fit with it today. Let's start seated. So grab yourself a chair, make sure that it hasn't got any sides on it. If your feet don't comfortably meet the floor and you've got a couple of blocks, and I do recommend blocks or books or whatever you've got to hand, maybe a small table could work. And you can bring your feet up onto a raised platform just so that you can really feel that support under the whole of your feet and through your pelvis. And we'll take a moment to arrive. So get comfy in the chair if you feel like you need to move, wriggle around a little bit first, that's absolutely fine. You might take a few deep sighing breaths. And you can have your eyes open or closed here. We're going to take five conscious breaths with a little bit of movement. So with your right arm, let's take a breath in, breathe down towards your belly as you reach your fingers up to the sky. Sense that length down the right side of your body. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, lengthen out the exhale and let's float the arm back down and we'll rest the hand on the leg, palm up or down left arm breathing in reaching up through the fingers rooting down through that left sit bone as you find length all the way up through the left side of your body and then breathing out to float that arm down and resting it either palm up or palm down let the shoulders relax gently bring the shoulders up as you breathe in and as you breathe out, gently roll the shoulders back and down, root down through the sit bones, find a little wave of length through the spine. With your right leg, take a breath in to extend the leg out in front, point the toes. And then as you breathe out, relax into the toes, the foot and place the foot back down. Let that foot and leg feel heavy. Other side, breathing in as you extend the left leg out. Point the toes. And then breathing out as you float the leg back down. Taking one more breath in, we'll lift up through the crown of the head and we'll draw the shoulders back as we lift the chest. You might even look up here, almost like a seated cow pose. And as you breathe out, bring your spine back to neutral. So we're not rounding through the back. We're just coming to a central point. Shoulders are still relaxed and heavy. Pelvis is heavy into the support of the chair. Legs and feet are heavy, but there's this alertness. And start to check in with your breath. allowing your breath to be natural maybe you've closed your eyes here or maybe you've lowered your gaze and as you settle into a natural rhythm of breath take a moment to notice how you are today we've been talking about this concept of inner peace and that doesn't mean that you have to arrive here today with that. This is why, you know, one, one of the reasons that we do these practices so that we can bring ourselves back to that base, back to our window of tolerance. But with compassion right now, noticing how you are. Maybe there's a little bit of tension 
Maybe there's some agitation. And you might even bring a hand to those areas. If you feel like you're quite rigid, if you're sitting up a little bit too rigid, then maybe you take a moment to rest back into the chair and let your belly soften. Really feel the support of the chair underneath you, that safety and stability of the chair and the safety of your hands. Inviting any areas that feel a little bit tense or maybe gripping to try and relax and soften. It's okay if that doesn't happen today or right now. So this in a piece, it's not about everything just being positive and fine and hunky-dory. It's making space for the difficulties, the challenges, the tension, being open to maybe why they are showing up today. And how can you support yourself throughout this practice, throughout the day? Anything that you need to be mindful of, any niggles, any injuries, how are your energy levels? Let's start to focus in on the breath. Breathing in and out through your nose if that feels available today. Invite your inhales to become a little bit deeper, maybe you feel your belly gently lift. And breathing out to soften, belly draws back in towards the spine just a little bit. Breathing in, belly rises. Breathing out, belly softens. And lengthening out the exhale. Can you sense any little inklings, sensations, feelings of peace within you? Maybe it's the support of the chair, maybe it's the connection of your hands on your body. Maybe the room feels warm or there's a nice smell in the air. Maybe there is a part within you that feels this little sense of peace. Connecting with the felt sense. It's this little fuzzy, hazy tap at the window. Maybe there's something else present today and that's okay too, we can welcome that in. Take a few more breaths here, settling in to that steady rhythm of breath that is going to guide us. You might breathe with a little bit of sound here, a little ujjayi breath. So we create this slight constriction in the back of the throat. We breathe in and out through the nose. It's like you're breathing through a small straw. I'm just going to demonstrate breathing in. Breathing out through the nose. It's almost like you're fogging up a window and you can try this with breathing in through the nose and you bring your hand up in front. Open the mouth. You think about that sound and that exhale and then you try it with the mouth closed. Just seeing how that feels. That can sometimes make us feel a little bit tense and restricted with the breath. So. It's an invitation to try. Ujjayi breath helps to keep your 
attention as you move through the practice because you can hear the breath and you can really feel it. Also helps to warm you up from the inside out. Our victorious breath. But find a breath that is gonna work for you today. And you might even imagine that this feeling of peace is flowing on the wave and rhythm of your breath, whatever that, that peace is for you. Can you imagine that your breath is carrying that around your body? Okay, let's start to bring a little bit of movement in. Let's start by wiggling fingers and toes, rolling wrists, and I'm moving my spine a little side to side and you can join in with that. But let's just start to bring movement in that would feel welcome for you, especially if, you, if you've been sat quite still and, and you've been feeling a little bit rigid. You know, during these initial moments where we arrive and check in, you don't have to be completely still. You might have a little rock and a little move and that's okay. A full body stretch, reaching the arms overhead. You might extend the legs out in front. And let's place the feet back down. Let's float the arms down. We're gonna shuffle a little bit further forward on the chair so that we can take the legs out wide. Now, they're not too wide here. Press the heels into the floor. Hopefully you can see me on the screen. Now, if you've got blocks, Again, you can bring your feet up onto blocks. Just to give them a little bit of a lift. So if you imagine that you're sitting on the floor, then you're in this wide legged position, but this is a little bit easier on the hips and the knees. You can keep a bend in the knees. We're gonna keep the right hand down on the right leg and we're gonna reach the left fingers up towards the sky. So just like we did at the start, Finding this length through the left side of your body. Just notice if you're kind of lifting up out of the chair, let's keep rooted through the sit bones. Plug the arm back into the shoulder so we're not kind of reaching through the joints too much. Let's take a breath in as you spread the fingers. And as you breathe out, we're gonna float the arm all the way down towards the opposite leg. Now you can tap wherever feels comfortable there and you can always move this arm out of the way. Reaching up as you breathe in and as you breathe out, let's float the arm back behind us and take a small twist. So we're drawing the shoulders round to the left hand side. Breathing in as you reach the left fingers up Breathing out as you fold over that right leg. Not too much. Take it at your own pace, breathing in as you lift the arm up. Breathing out as you flow the arm behind you and take a little twist and you might even turn the head. Let's keep it going, find your rhythm. Notice if you are really forcing this fold. So, and you might be able to feel a little bit of tension or pulling through the side waist and you can ease off. It doesn't need to be this really big, intense movement. Flow with your breath. How can you invite in a movement with peace, if that makes sense? Um, using that kind of idea of cultivating inner peace to guide the movement and you know we can be active and we can bring challenges into the practice if we if we want to but we can still make it peaceful on our body so we're not causing harm or violence to ourselves. Knowing where our limits are, where our boundaries are. Making this the last one as we float the arm up and bring it all the way down. And you might take a moment 
to roll out the shoulders. You might want to bring the feet flat and give the knees a rock and a swish. And we'll go over to the other side. So we're extending the legs out. We're pressing the heels down. Toes are pointing up. So the legs are a little bit more active here. And let's reach the fingers up towards the sky, the opposite arm through the right fingers. Allow the pelvis to feel heavy so we're not lifting up out of the chair. We're still grounded and we've got that support underneath us. Take a breath in, spread the fingers. As you breathe out, we're folding towards that left leg. Breathing in as you reach up and breathing out as you turn to look behind you, take a twist. Taking around five to six on each side. But if you do less than that, that's fine. And we don't really, we don't want to rush these movements. So if you've ended up doing about 10, maybe consider slowing down a little bit. But if it felt all right, then that's fine. Okay, making this the last one. The slower the better with somatic practices so that we can really feel into our bodies and acknowledge if we are maybe going a little bit too far, maybe if we're pulling a little bit too much, or maybe we can uh, go a little bit further if that feels okay. Okay, let's bring the feet back in and we're gonna tap the feet to the floor. And you can keep the toes down and just tap the heels or you can pick the feet off the floor as if you're running. Let's wake up the feet, wake up the legs. Roll the ankles a few times in one direction and then the other. Check in with the breath. Sometimes at these moments, we then, we start to hold the breath. Bringing your feet to the floor. Let's find a little wave of length through the spine where we're not sitting up too rigid, but we're also not slouching and collapsing into the back of the chair. And make sure you've got a little bit of space between you and the chair itself. And we're going to lift the arms up and open them out into a cactus shape. Just kind of assessing where feels right for you and your shoulders today. It might be, it might be down here. You might see if you can bring the elbows up in line with the shoulders. Maybe you notice that you tense and bunch up around the neck. As you breathe out, can you soften the shoulders down a little bit? Take a breath in, gently draw the shoulder, the elbows back. And as you breathe out, let's bring the palms and forearms towards each other. So let's sense into the upper back first, noticing that stretch and that broadness into the upper back. Take a breath in, open up what is happening in the upper back as you open the arms out. Maybe there's a little squeeze of the shoulder blades together. Noticing that contraction in the muscles in the upper back. And as you breathe out, bring in for palms and forearms towards each other, opening up into the back. Breathing in as you open up. Breathing out as you close. And you can do the same in the front, across the chest, as you open up, sensing that openness across the chest. Breathing out as you bring the palms and forearms towards each other, sensing the muscles contracting in the chest. Let's take a few more. 
becoming aware of your heart space, the center of your chest, the center of the upper back. Maybe that is a place for you that you sense peace. So as we're opening up the arms, maybe imagine that you are shining out this light, this ray of peace. And the same out the back. If you like visualizations. Okay, one more. Bring in the palms and forearms towards each other. Hold it there. Maybe the arms are getting a little bit fatigued. Maybe the shoulders are starting to speak to you. They don't need to touch here. Let your arms float down and take a moment to let them rest. Let them feel really heavy. How did that feel? Going from that activation, maybe that intensity, to letting the arms feel heavy. You might even let the arms hang down by the sides of your body. So, coming forward on the chair, scooching right to the edge. Plant the feet down, really press the heels into the floor. We're going to reach the arms forward. And as we lean forward, we're going to lift the bum off the chair and then place it back down. You can float the arms down as you do this. Reaching forward, weight in the heels, press through the heels, a little squeeze of the bum as you lift up, and then lower it back down. Breathe in, reach forward, weight in the heels, breathe out as you lift. And breathing in to sit back down, breathe out as you float the arms down. One more, inhale, reach forward, exhale, chair pose. Now you might lift the hips a little higher so you don't need to stay down here and we can bring hands to heart, keep a little bend in the knees, weight in the heels, chest lifted, little hug of the low belly. Utkatasana, your chair pose or fierce pose. Press through the feet, let's breathe in, come to stand, extend the legs and breathe out as you float the arms down. Now weight comes forward into the toes and the balls of the feet. We're going to lift the heels and then slowly lower them back down. So this is option one, lifting and lowering. Imagine that there is a piece of thread coming out through the crown of the head and it's lifting you up rather than forward. And then it's lowering you back down with control. Maybe you stick with that, but option two is to lift the heels and then let them flop back down heavily. Lift. And just check in with how it feels in the knees and the hips. Keep a little soft bend in the knees. Let your arms be heavy. This can be a really good one if you're feeling a little bit anxious today or frustrated or angry. Letting that, those emotions, those feelings move through your body. And I'm getting the breath involved, breathing in and out. Okay, a couple more. Okay, feet, heels back down to the floor, feet to the floor. We are gonna march it out on the spot. So you can be lifting the knees up in front. You can hold on to the chair if you like here. And you can also explore into the hips. So maybe taking a few hip circles in one direction and then the other, one leg at a time or moving between the two. You might stick with this option 
but then also see how it might feel to lift the knee out to the side, opening up into the hips. Breathe. Let's plant the feet down. Take the feet a little bit wider than the hips. Bring that bend into the knees. And we're gonna sweep the left arm in front of our body. Reach it up towards the top right hand corner. Might not, I mean, for me it is the room, but you might not be in a, in a room that has a corner, but reaching up on the diagonal. Look up towards the hand and then sweep it back down we'll take it over to the other side right arm sweeps up across the front of your body reaching up on a diagonal take it almost like you're taking it slightly behind you as you look up and you might even lift that opposite heel like i've done and back through center taking it over to the other side breathing in breathing out once you get there Take a breath in, come back to centre, breathe out, land in the middle, other side, breathe in, reach up, breathe out once you're there, breathe in, back to centre, breathe out, ground down through both feet, spread the fingers, find a little lift through the heart space, a little lift through the crown of the head, Tadasana, your mountain pose, pause and check in. Feel the stability of the floor underneath your feet. The movement of your breath flowing around your body. Maybe you're bringing in that, that idea, that visualization of your breath carrying peace around your body. Maybe you set an intention at the start of the practice and you could repeat that to yourself now, just that reminder of why you are here on your mat today whether that is an intention for yourself or somebody else. Taking three more breaths. blinking your eyes open. We're going to turn to face the chair and you can either have it sideways on, making sure that you've got space for your arms or you can turn it away from you. And we're gonna hinge from the hips, a little bend in the knees as you bring the hands onto the seat of the chair. Let's shift the weight onto the left foot and start to float that right leg back. So getting a feel for that balance into the left leg, the strength into the left leg, into the left glute. And you can choose how high the leg comes. Now you might stay here today and keep more of a bend in the left knee and that's fine. And you can lift and lower and feel into the right bum cheek working, or you can lift the leg a little higher. back to the breath. Option to add on here as you breathe in, extend out through that right heel and as you breathe out let's bring the knee towards the arm. Doesn't need to touch. Breathing in, extend the leg out. Breathing out, bring in the knee forward. One more if it feels okay. Breathing in, extend out. Breathing out as you bring the knee in. Let's send that leg all the way back out and we'll float the foot back down to the floor and we'll bring a little bit of movement in. Now you might take the feet a little bit wider and even step them back and you could take a standing downward facing dog from here, sink into the hips, bend the knees, lower the head a little further, maybe between the upper arms if that feels available. 
and you can sway out the hips and pedal the legs here. Coming all the way back up, let's walk the feet in just to find that position that feels grounded and stable. Shift over onto the right foot, we're going to take it over to the other side, step that left foot out. So now you know where we're going, so it takes away a little bit of that anticipation, maybe. But you know that you can keep the foot down, you can lift and lower and focus in maybe on the strength of this right leg. And as you're lifting that left foot, what's happening with the left bum cheek? So that somatic element of paying attention to how your body is feeling, how your body is responding, the muscles that are being used. How is your breath getting involved in this? Maybe you're floating the leg a little higher and you could do this once just to see how it goes and then place it back down. And you can still do the knee in and out, even with the toes down. Sorry, I forgot to mention that on the first side. So let's take a breath in, extend out through the heel, and as you breathe out, let's bring the knee forward. Breathing in, reach and lengthen. Breathing out, bringing the knee in. One more, breathing in, extend the leg out. Breathing out, knee comes in. We take a breath in to extend that leg back out and then we breathe out to place the foot back down and bring it back in. Now you might need to stand up here and march out the legs. You might want to take a downward facing dog again. Okay, so let's root down through the feet. If you're still folding over with the hands on the chair, bend the knees, press through the heels, roll up through the spine and come to stand. We're gonna move into a standing posture now, but you can do this on the chair, so I'm gonna give an option. Warrior one. So we step the right foot forward. And we step that left foot back, ground the heel, your feet are on two lines. Left toes, so these back toes are pointing off to about 10, 11 o'clock. Think about your centre of gravity, your head stacking over your shoulders, your shoulders stacking over your pelvis, equal pressure through both feet. And you could rock a little forwards and backwards here just to see how this feels. You can even have the chair in front of you for a bit of support. If you're doing a chair seated version, now we come to sit down and this is why we don't want sides on the chair so that we can turn around and we can place that right foot to the floor and shuffle to the edge of the chair. So right bum cheek is supported by the chair and we slide that left leg back. Now it doesn't need to go completely back behind us. Depending on how small or low your chair is, really depends on how this is gonna feel in the hips. Now this is quite intense around this left hip. So actually a standing version can bring less intensity into the hip joints. So I would say, see how it goes. If you have a slightly higher chair, that might be better. Take a moment to assess. There's no need to rush into these things. We can pause and we can see, how does that feel? Now, if you are doing the seated version, but the leg out to the side is causing all kinds of issues or trouble or just you're not feeling it today, we'll slide that leg back in and we'll hop the foot back. So the knee is pointing down and we're not opening out into the hip. So we're taking a, a lunge version and that's absolutely fine. 
So choose where you're going to be today. Settle back into your breath. Now you can bring hands to heart, you can hold the chair, if you want to reach fingers up to the ceiling, and take a few breaths. You might even look up, you could look to the thumbs, you could find a spot on the ceiling or out in front that you can focus your attention on. Your drishti, your focused gaze, especially if your mind tends to drift around the room. And an option here to add on is to bring the arms out in front. We've been here before. We open the arms out, cactus the arms. Take a breath in, draw the elbows back. Exhale, palms and forearms towards each other. Hold it here. Option to keep the palms and forearms just like this, but if you want to explore eagle arms, I'm going to cross that right arm underneath the left and we're going to bring the hands to the shoulders. This is option one, keep the elbows lifted. Option two is to start to bring the backs of the hands towards each other. Now this is quite intense in the upper back, so if you're getting to here and you're like, but it hurts, but there's, there's tightness, ease off a little bit. One is not better than the other. Can you sense a broadness in the upper back? Relax into the shoulders and the neck, but keep the elbows slightly lifted. If you are standing and you're in this warrior one position and it feels like there's too much going on, you can take a breath in one position and you can always come out. Take three more breaths. Okay, unravel the arms from wherever they are. If the arms are still reaching up overhead, you can float the arms back down. And we're gonna step that left foot in to meet the right. Or if you're sat down, you can slide that left leg back. And you can tap the feet to the ground or you can stand. Right, take a wide stance and turn the toes out. I'm going to start to bend the knees and sink the hips down. And this is an option that you can take on the chair as well, seated, feet out wide, knees bent. And we're going to reach the arms up. Now if you're taking the seated version, keep the knees bent but look up. And as you breathe out, float the arms back down. If you're taking the standing version, we're going to inhale to reach up, extend the legs. And then exhale to bend the knees. Doesn't need to be much of a bend here, but imagine sliding your back down an imaginary wall as you float the arms down. Breathing in, press through the heels and the blade edges of the feet to stand. Breathing out as you sink the hips down. Still bringing awareness to the outer edges of the feet. Knees are opening up. Breathing in to lift. Breathing out to bend the knees and float the arms down. You can do this standing behind the chair, holding onto the chair, and you can just do the legs if you prefer. Last few. Maybe you close your eyes. How can you make this as effortless as you can? Make it peaceful for yourself. Okay, the next time you bring the arms up, we're gonna keep the legs straight and we're gonna float the arms down. We're going to take our warrior one on the other side, heel toe the feet in, or you can jump them in, and left foot comes forward and right foot goes back this time. So we're stepping that right foot back and this time one or two o'clock on those back toes, 
a little bend in the front knee, choosing the chair option so that left leg is forward and the right leg extends back or out to the side or maybe you're taking the lunge version. So take a moment to set yourself up, think about your head uh, being central, think about where your spine might be, so you can do this to really feel it, you can bring your torso forward and notice, well, the weight is a little bit more into the left foot here and not so much into that back leg. Can I wave my spine back to center? And you might notice, oh, gone a little bit too far. How can I find my center of gravity? Or I'm pressing through both feet as evenly as I can. Settle in, find your breath any variation with the arms for these first few breaths. Let's bring the arms out in front, elbows are bent. Open the arms out, cactus the arms, take a breath in. Breathe out as you bring the arms towards each other. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. One more inhale to open. And exhale to close. Now maybe you hold it here, keeping the elbow slightly lifted. Maybe you're scooping the left arm underneath the right and bringing hands to shoulders. Sensing that broadness in the upper back. Maybe you see how it would feel to lift the arms. Notice what is happening in your upper back, across the shoulder blades. Can be quite intense. And breathe. Last few breaths. If the legs do start screaming at you, if you've been in worry one and the arms and leg combination is, is getting too much, feel free to come out of it, step the feet together, and then you can explore the arms. So, you know, if something is just feeling a little bit off. Last few breaths. Okay. Let's start to unravel the arms and let's step that back foot to meet the front foot or slide the legs back together if you're on the chair and bring in a little bit of movement into the legs if you need to roll the shoulders. That might feel quite good here. Our last standing postures. So you can have the chair, I'm just going to move it to one side while I show the first version. I'm going to step wide on the mat and take a warrior two. So warrior one we were facing forward, warrior two we are opening out lengthways if you've got a mat. A little bit of a wider stance, we're bending into that left knee and then if we bring the hands up towards the heart and start to spread the arms out wide. Palms facing down, spread the fingers, gaze over the left fingertips. So I have mirrored up until this point and now it's all gone out the window. So we're going to do both sides anyway, so don't worry if you I've got the right arm up here and right leg bent. Now, chair in front can be a good support. And you can bring that front arm up. So your arm is reaching out in the direction that that front knee and toes are. Flip the le the, that front palm up towards the ceiling. And take a breath in as you reach up. Breathe out, find a little length down that side waist. 
and maybe you look up to the sky and maybe you lean back a little bit more. This back hand could be down on the back thigh. Peaceful warrior. Find a position for your neck that feels comfortable and somewhere that you can gaze. It might be the fingertips, your drishti, or you might bring the head back to a more neutral position. Let's come back through centre, arms reaching out wide, warrior two, preferring to do a seated version. We bring that right leg out and we send that left leg out to the side, chest is open to the long edge and we can take our peaceful warrior from here or you might prefer to keep that back knee uh, bent and the foot to the floor and we can still take a peaceful warrior here so just depending on what you've got going on in your hips float the arms down and let's take it over to the other side so we're spinning those left toes or right toes if you were mirroring me to face the long edge now and these other toes the back toes are now spinning to the short edge of the mat bending into that front knee maybe opening the arms out wide maybe you're holding a chair but still reaching through those front fingers settling into the breath spreading and softening through the toes but still maintaining that grounding and stability through the feet through the legs flip that front palm if you haven't already start to reach it up towards the sky back hand can come down to the back thigh or hold on to the chair and maybe you're looking up how can you invite in quality of peace here. It might be into your neck, it might be through the palm, it might be through the legs, it might be your breath. Let's come back through centre, option to reach the arms wide before floating the arms down, turning the toes forward, either heel toeing the feet in or hopping them in, depending on how much energy you've got. And we are going to come to sit back down. So make your way back to your chair, any props underneath the feet. And we're gonna roll through the wrists and roll through the ankles. Spread the toes, spread the fingers. Start to close your eyes or soften your gaze. Take a moment to notice how you feel. With that same openness and curiosity as when we first arrived for the practice. Let's bring arms and legs back to stillness. We're going to reach up through the right arm, breathing in as you reach through the fingers, root down through the sit bones. And as you breathe out, slowly float that arm all the way down. Maybe the palm faces up or down. Other arm reaches up as you breathe in, send it down towards your belly. The breath that is and then breathing out as you float that arm back down with your right leg breathing in as you extend the leg out breathing out as you place that foot down let the leg feel heavy other leg, breathing in, breathe down towards your belly button as you extend the leg out. You could spread the toes here. Breathing out as you place that foot back down. Breathe it in, scoop the shoulders up. Breathe it out, roll the shoulders back and down, allow the pelvis to feel heavy. 
your breath in, lift a little more through the chest, allow your pelvis to tilt forward, lift the chin, just dropping the head back a little bit, not too much. And then breathing out as you bring your spine back to centre. And you have the option here to find a neutral spine, but you're not connected to the back of the chair or to rest into the back of the chair. Let your body really feel supported. Maybe taking a few more deep sighing breaths if that feels good. Settling into these last few moments where we can process that practice. We can surrender to a little bit of rest and stillness. I invite you to acknowledge how you are in this moment. Any subtle shifts, subtle changes, anything that feels the same as when you first arrived for this practice. And maybe there was something that you did today that didn't quite feel right. And you can make a note of that and you can maybe have a think about why it didn't resonate with you today. Maybe it's something that is just not feeling good for you in your body. Maybe there was something that really brought in that feeling of inner peace. Remembering that it is a practice of consistency, of showing up, of things sometimes being quite challenging. It's not always easy. And it's not about being peaceful or calm all the time but sensing that, what that feels like for you and acknowledging how you might be able to get yourself to that point in times of challenge, times of struggle, how you might be able to bring other people with you to that peaceful place. So being able to flow easily and naturally through that spectrum of your nervous system of feeling engaged and calm and content and going through those very very natural processes of fight and flight or maybe freeze but knowing that what works for you so you don't get stuck there and we can always come back to that base I give you a few moments here to rest. If you want a little bit longer, then you can pause this video and you can take as long as you need.
Ask yourself, what do I need now? Or what do I need for the rest of the day to take care of myself? Is there a particular feeling or sensation that I've cultivated today, maybe connected to that inner peace that I can take with me into the rest of my day and into any conversation that I have, any interaction. Knowing that it is always available to you, even when it feels really, really challenging. Wherever you are, I invite you to bring your hands into prayer at your heart or you can place your hands over your heart with that loving kindness. We'll take a breath in and breathe out as you bow your head. Let there be peace in my environment. Let there be peace in the forces of nature that affect me. Let there be peace in me. Wishing you all a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you soon. Take care.